Hey guys and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. So I wanted to say quickly thank you guys so much for the support on the last one. Uh, and again, there's a balloon in the background. I did not intend for this to happen. I literally just started recording. Let me go get this one before everybody's just like, go get the balloon. So... Uh, if you guys didn't watch my last Animal Crossing video, I uploaded it about a week ago, I want to say. And it was my island tour of what it looked like at the moment. So, if you guys are looking at the map, at the bottom right hand corner, you guys can see that I've been working on my residence area. So, it's not completely finished by any means. I wanted to go ahead and do another one because you guys were being super supportive and saying you guys would want to see more Animal Crossing videos. So, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and just record this because the update came out yesterday, so the whole nature day thing with uh, Leaf or my friend who's from Norway says pronounced Life, but I'm probably gonna be calling him Leaf. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and play with it and everything, so yeah. Yesterday actually when the update came out, I didn't actually have him on my island. Uh, I had kicks instead, so I didn't get to actually experience it. And we also have Red who is the supposed other scammer other than Tom Nook. So we love that. We'll get into Red in just a second, but I wanna go ahead and check out, oh. <laughs> I wanna check out what he has um, in stock. I did end up going to my friend's house yesterday or my friend's island yesterday and I picked up, I think like 20 of the azalea pink and white bushes. Nicole? Nicole, I, that, I mean. They're both my name. <laughs> I don't know. What should I call you, friend? I guess we'll just do this. I don't know. What a happy name. I heard that my good pal Timmy started a shop here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Aww. I bet you were up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived. I sure was, but I cleaned them all up, honey. But the island itself is a blank canvas that you can paint however you like. Oh, some of the rare flower seeds and shrubs I brought with me will be featured in your final masterpiece. Oh, honey, I'm sure they will be. What's a shrub? I mean, I know what it is, but I'll act dumb for you. <laughs> Shrubs are kind of like little trees or are they more like flowers, but bigger? By the way, today I'm selling the happiest shrub I know, the azalea. Oh, I already have that though. I just really want... Oh, wait, I mean to talk to Red. Well, well, you from around here? Hi, the name's Red. I work in sales you and you are Nicole. Oh my God, he knows who I am. What a great name. Intelligent, strong. Does he say this to everybody or just me? Because I mean... I'm flattered. <laughs> I can already tell you we're gonna be pals. No, not pals, family. Oh my God, family? I hope you don't mind me being forward, but you look to me like someone who's got a good eye for art. Oh my God, does he know that I was a graphic design major? Don't be shocked, I've been a keen instinct for these things. Speaking of instinct, I just had this feeling, so I brought a jolly painting with me. Well, I wanna sell to you and only you, cause you're family and you're gonna get a giveaway price. How does Fortnite, huh? 498,000 bells, Grampia? It's a bargain, what do you say? Bargain? Sweetie, bargain my ass, that is not a bargain. 498,000? I say a big fat no, honey. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my family exclusive patent pending cousins discount. Oh my God, I live for a discount. Oh, 4,980, you'll be the proud owner of your very own Jolly painting. All right, sweet, hold on. Let me see what they're talking about first because I love eavesdropping. Man, Kevin, how are you so charming all the time? You think I'm charming? Thanks, dude. <laughs> Being swole and charismatic are my primary fitness goals after all. Okay, I honestly am so over jocks. Kevin is my only jock, but like every time he talks about working out, I'm just like, <sighs> like bored. Okay, sweetie, I mean, I understand fitness is your thing, but come on. Can you tell me how to get a heroic jawline like yours? <laughs> Oh my god, sucker baby! It's all done with the intense exercise of musculi masticatory, also known as my jaw muscles. It's easy enough to do every morning I get up, I go outside and I find a boulder. I gnaw on that hunk of geology for an hour or so and bam, perfect jaw. So he's telling me the perfect way to a jawline is to chew on a boulder. Wow, a boulder, that's amazing. I chipped a tooth on a corn chip once, <laughs> aww. What a cutie. I freaking love them. Well, Zucker mainly. I mean, Kevin, I don't know if I told you guys this, but Kevin, I'm probably going to end up kicking out eventually. Even though he was like one of my first, well, Islanders. Well, he was my starter villager. And Sylvia was as well, which they're still here. They're still not moving out. What do we got? <gasps> oh, but we have blue hydrangea starters. Oh, those are pretty. What kind of flowers are I have lilies and roses. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I need that. Oh my gosh. I got, I just got so happy. Like my heart, <laughs> like I'm 
so happy. Do you guys hear? Kevin's playing the electric guitar. So I've noticed a, a lot of my villagers keep going up to it and playing it. I'm gonna have an, a, a band soon coming together. Also, I really wish that we could buy things more than five at a time. It's small, but the upgraded one is gonna be exciting. So I wanna actually check out this painting because if you guys didn't know this, probably by now you do because the update's been out for a day or well now two technically. Basically, Red can actually sell you fake paintings, which is not the tea. So we gotta go ahead and see if the painting that he actually gave us is real or not. Is this the painting? Okay, let's see. Oh, surprise, is it real or is it fake? Hold on, let's see. Oh, I mean, I don't think I know this piece. Are you real? It seems like it'd be real to me. I know that I saw some post on Reddit yesterday that like they've done like what's real and what's fake, but I didn't actually look deep into it because I didn't want to like spoil anything. Not that I could spoil really anything here, but I want to like guess and see, but I don't recall this painting. So I'm gonna say it's real. So we're gonna go in here and give it to Blather so that we can start the process of uh, updating our museum. I believe it might actually, no, it might actually be under construction tomorrow and then it won't be live until Sunday, I think. I found a piece of art. Now, if you were to donate this jolly painting, your generosity would enable us to add an art exhibit to our beloved museum. Oh my God, I'm so excited for the art. Let's say you, might I give this work of art a new home? Of course, take it. Jolly good and hoot hoot hooray. <laughs> He's so cute. Splendid news indeed. I, can re I really can't thank you enough. Oh my God, well, you're welcome. It pleases me greatly to say that I will now be able to apply for an expansion to the museum. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. I can't wait for the art exhibit. As someone who loves art, I'm overjoyous. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, quickly, I forgot to talk to Sable. So I need to go talk to her because I want to get my patterns. Go say hey to Sable. You're Nicole, right? I am. Wait, what just happened? <gasps> wait, this is her first time talking to me? Like, actually? I don't think I've ever heard you call a customer by, na by name before, sis. <gasps> Hush, Mabel, you know what? This is hard for me. Oh, guys, I can't believe I'm recording this while it's happening. I haven't, oh. Anyway, I'm Sable. I figured it was time we were introduced properly. You, you know, can go back to shopping now. Oh, Sable. I appreciate you stepping out of your comfort zone to talk to me. Wait, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm so happy. So, if we head over to Marshall's house, I actually have a gift for him. So I ended up purchasing this shirt with like a sweater thing on it and I wanted to give it to him. Oh yeah, oh my God, before we, this is, okay. So this is my my new residence area that I'm trying to work on. So uh, obviously Molly's house hasn't moved and Gwen's house is still in the way. So I haven't fully completed this and it's not in its final form yet. I'm probably end up putting bushes around here I kind of put the bamboo trees. I don't know if I want them here yet. I haven't fully decided, but I wanted this to be kind of like a pond that they kind of like can chill at and stuff, you know, like sit down, relax and whatnot. I still might put like a little mini island in the middle of this. I haven't fully decided yet what I want to do. Uh, my island is still a hot mess. I haven't really worked on it all that much. I haven't worked on it in probably three days. It's been raining here and for some reason when it's raining in this game, I'm just not in the mood. I don't know why. But Marina is wearing her apron that Marshall gave her and it's just, I don't know, I like her original sweater and I told her to not wear this, like I didn't like it on her and she still wears it. So I guess my opinion doesn't fly with her. So yeah, I'm just gonna let her chill here. So Marina lives here. I ended up planting shrubs over here so that I can't wait to see what they look like because I think, I, yeah, I did the pink and white ones, which is gonna be really cute. So I tried to make everything kind of pinky in here and then over here Zucker lives here so this is his house so they live on the first tier I keep calling them tiers I don't know if this is the right term but then we have these stairs that lead up we have the um, waterfall so the upper part of this will end up being decorated eventually um, and then this part is not finished yet either I just again I've been like trying to figure out how I want everything to be so kind of just um, still plain so over here we have Marshall's house and then Kevin's back here, which Kevin's birthday is actually on the 26th of April, which is kind of cool that I have a birthday coming up, but we're going to head over to Marshall and give him his present. So I haven't decorated their little areas. I was going to give them individual spots, kind of how like Marina and Zucker have, but I felt like it was going to be too much um, space is going to be used up not wisely necessarily. So 
Hi, Marshall. I have a gift for you. Please ignore the mess and try not to step on anything. Okay, last time I came in here, I forgot to bring the present. So I'm going to give it to him. A surprise. Yes, I have a shirt. Oh my God. Is he going to wear it? It can't be, can it? A sweater on shirt. It is, Marshall. I know. This is the kind of gift that I've got to try on right away. Yes, please do. Thanks, Nicole. I'm pretty jazzed about the way I look. Let's see what you look like. Oh my God. He's so cute. I mean his sweaters like iconic, but like this is kind of cute, too. You know, oh I love him class for Marshall. Oh He's appreciating my class <laughs> All right, Marshall you keep doing you He ended up giving me a steel wall. I think is what he gave me so Nothing too spectacular, but uh, over here. We have Boris and Sylvia so this morning I saw Miss Bianca in Boris's house, and I don't know if they were kissing or what, but I saw something, so maybe there's a romance brewing there, but hopefully not because Boris is going to end up getting kicked out, so, but you know that I thought about it. Since I have both Boris and Sylvia living here, I could literally just block this off so that they can't leave. Literally, guys, I haven't spoken to Sylvia in over two weeks, and she still st is wanting to stay. I had Zucker asking if he could move out uh, a couple days ago, and I was like, are you kidding me? I've had Molly, Marina, and Zucker ask to move out, and I was like, y'all, no. And the thing is, is like, I can't even, oh, my little glow holes over here. So I can't even, like, get myself to, what's it called? To, oh, what's that? Oh, it's the ship! Oh, oh my god, I have to go there after this. Oh my god. I completely forgot about that, but I can't even get myself to let go of Molly because she she nicknamed me lollipop like that's so freaking cute Imagine being called lollipop by one of your villagers oh, And I know that I've had friends who haven't gotten like really cute nicknames or anything <laughs> from their villagers So like the fact that I have a cute nickname. Oh, I just I can't I can't let go of her If you guys remember in the last video I talked about how I want to figure out like what fertile days I have for my money trees well, supposedly that it's not like a set pattern or anything. So I've kind of given up on it because I missed a couple days because I didn't really play actively. So yeah, I kind of I kind of fudged it up. This ship is kind of sketchy looking. I shouldn't board without asking. What? Wait, is this? Wait, is this Red's ship? Oh, I thought you could go in here. I wanted to go in. Thanks for the follow. Whoever followed me on Twitch, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of bummed about that actually. I'm really on the lookout for Sprinkle. Like I want Sprinkle so bad. I'm literally so close to going and buying an amiibo because I've had a few people say that they could like give me their Sprinkle, but I'm just, I'm impatient and I just really want her so bad. Oh, hello Sylvia. We meet again. I just don't understand why she wants to still live here. I've literally been ignoring you for weeks and you still want to live here. Like she has no desire to talk to me anymore, like at all, but she's still here. I just, I don't understand. So also I'm really happy about this pink lily. It just formed. I'm so happy. It's so cute. I kind of figured out, I think how I want my house to go. I think I'm going to end up moving it closer to where my uh, museum is because I want to put my museum where my house is. I want to have the museum kind of be in the middle of everything in a way because I feel like where it's placed, it could be a good spot for it, but what I want to do, I feel like is going to obstruct the river view. I still feel like I'm going to end up switching how the river is, honestly. I just, I don't know. Anybody else feel stressed terraforming? Well, not stressed, but I mean, I've kind of been stressed, stressed not going to lie. Um, it's because I want my island to be cute. Like, I've been seeing so many photos on Reddit and everything of everybody's islands and, like, what they've been doing. And I'm just like, I really want that too. And maybe it will happen. Maybe not. Uh, I also really want to go, like, villager hunting too. Oh, <gasps> speaking of villagers. I forgot to say this. We have a visitor at our campsite. Uh, I haven't had a visitor at my campsite since Marshall. So, I kind of got happy. Um... But I was hoping for, I mean, the villager in here isn't that bad, but like I wouldn't choose her. Uh, I'm probably not going to talk to her because I think that if you talk to them more than once, they want to like actually move to your island. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just too scared to. But this is Pom Pom. She exists. She's kind of cute, but like I love Molly more, you know, and I don't want another duck on my island. So yeah, I could easily like, I think, get her and replace one of the other residents like Boris or Sylvia, but just... I don't think I'm going to, so I'm sorry, Pom Pom. I don't know, I, 
Don't, I don't know how long they stay here for, if it's a day or how long. I've been seeing a bunch of videos of people like making like a rock area. So like in, they cover their entire island or something like that for their rock to only spawn in one section. And I low-key want to do that, but I feel like that's so much work. I finally got an idea of what I want to do with my basement. So there is this floor. It's like kind of foggy, cloudy. I, I'm assuming it's just clouds, but it looks like it could be like something in a nightclub. It reminds me of the GTA nightclub where it's kind of like foggy on the floor. And so I was thinking if I eventually got like neon lights in here, cause the wallpaper reminds me of something that I could just put in like a very bougie nightclub. So don't mind the tiger print flooring. It was for my Carol Baskin photo shoot. So <laughs> really want the foggy flooring. I want to end up having like a bar down here. I just need a bunch of stuff like with neon lights. Like I've seen these little like, what are they called? Palm trees with neon lights on them. And I want it so bad. I do want to go ahead and um, plant these bushes because I believe that's what I need to do to, yeah, for the limited time nature day activities. We kind of get a lot of nook miles. So if I plant three shrubs at least, then look at her. I love how she literally turned at me and stopped singing and then continued. Another video, another singing Sylvia. I'm gonna miss her. Well, I say that, but like I want her gone. <laughs> I'm gonna miss like, you know, being mad at her and not wanting her on my island. Who else am I gonna want? Like once I get everybody, what am I gonna do then? Be like, oh, like I love you guys. Like I don't want you guys to leave. Well, probably because I'm not gonna want them to leave. But, you know, it's just... It's gonna be sad. You know, sometimes we like a little bit of drama stirring up, you know? Also, guys, I honestly... Gwen and Marshall, I don't know why they have beef, but literally, it's so freaking funny. I cannot... Like, every time they talk, it's always like they're shading each other. And it's the best thing ever. So, I, I just... I can't get rid of Gwen or Marshall anymore. And I've grown to Marshall. Like, at first, I wasn't so sure about him when he first came to my island. And then... The more I got to know him, the more he grew on me, and I just, yeah. I also just realized I never opened this present. It's clay anyway, so it's nothing special. <laughs> okay, so we have pink hydrangeas and blue hydrangeas. I just wanna finish my challenge thing, or my task. Plant that one. Oh, we could plant some here, actually. Let's plant, apparently they take a couple days to grow, or four days, I think my friend said. So, I'm kinda not excited to have to wait for them. Oh no, it moved. I didn't plant in the right spot, dang it. But I don't know how long I'm going to keep this bamboo here. I do like the look of it. Because I feel like it kind of fits the vibe that I want for Marina and Zucker in a way. So I think I can get the recipe for the uh, bush fence. I think you have to go to Tom Nook or something. I can't remember. My friend told me. Looks like you've taken part in the Nature Day activities. So glad to see that. Yes, Nature Day. So like you to jump into the action. Oh, you know. <laughs> You're a shining example for the rest of Lunar Cove. I mean, I'd hope so. As you demonstrated your eco mindfulness, I have a special present for you. It's perfect for any gardener. It's a DIY recipe for crafting your very own hedges. Oh, that's what it is. It was a good work. I'd truly love to have you continue taking part in our nature day activities. Aww. Also, I paid off my last loan. I was so happy. And let me just tell you, Tom and Isabel acted as if nothing happened. Like I paid 2.4 million and they just sat here, just not even giving me confetti and applause and I was really upset about it. So literally all the money that I got from turnips ended up going towards my loan. But it's over now and now I can just renovate for free, which is fun. Oh wow, you actually require quite a bit. You require clumps of weeds, tree branches, and stone. Oh, <gasps> you know what? Now thinking about it, I feel like that would look good here. Like you put it around the resident services. <gasps> that would probably look cute actually. Yo, let me see if I can do that. So also, if you guys didn't know this, you probably did. I only found out from my friend a couple days ago. But let me let me tell you the tea because I'm opening all the stuff that I just got. So if you guys have Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, basically what you can do is get some special items from Pocket Camp. If I can find the website that I use to like follow the directions, I'll link it in the description if you guys haven't done it. So if you have the same Nintendo account, connected to both pocket camp and new horizons you can get a bunch of stuff from like camper camper stuff so you'll have like this special section so you have like this 
Break Trapper, Campsite Sign, Fortune Cookie Cart. This is really cool. Marketplace decorations, which I need to put mine up actually. Um, okay, Motor Sign, Pocket, Modern Camper, Vintage One, uh, Hat, Camper Tee, which is kind of cute actually. And then the Motor's Jacket. So that's really awesome. <gasps> Wait, a coral shirt? Wait, I've never seen this one. <gasps> now I can literally be Isabel. <laughs> Does this actually work like you can use the fan? I'm actually really curious. Do I buy it just for curiosity reasons? I think I'm going to because I don't know how that works. Also, one thing I wanted to craft is that Aries rocker thing that you get from Celeste because I've been meaning to craft it and I keep forgetting to. So let me go ahead and just do this now while I remember. Okay, so I have, I have 40 hedges. So hopefully that's enough. Let me go ahead and place down this rocking chair. <gasps> Can I go on it? You can't sit on it? Oh my god, wait, I'm actually so bummed. I really was hoping you could sit on it. <gasps> no! Let me sit on you. Oh, it rocks! Okay, well, at least, you know, you do your what you're meant to do is rock, but I wish I could sit on it and be like, yeehaw! <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh. I want to live out my yeehaw fantasy. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put up these hedges and see what it looks like. What I'm going to have to do is actually erase this pathway. I'm going to end up redoing my entire city hall anyways. Or like my town area. Because this is not it. Like, since I have gotten terraforming, I actually want to like do some nice stuff here. So this is all pretty much going to be completely different eventually. I guess let's start placing the pathway, shall we? Kevin, do you like it? It's nice, isn't it? Kevin, are you just here to watch me? I get it. I'm, I'm very entertaining. <laughs> Wait, that actually puts it together so much better. <gasps> Wait, I really like that, guys. Oh my... Yo, this is cute. I love how I did this now, and I'm probably going to want to take off these uh, pathways. That's okay, I can do that on my own time. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, bless... The Animal Crossing gods for freaking hedges. That is so cute. I'm gonna have to move this rock, honestly. Let's eat a peach real quick, <laughs> cause it's in the way. Guys, I'm really digging these hedges, honestly. Oh my God, they're so cute. I'm probably gonna end up going crazy with hedges and stuff, but this just adds like such like a cute vibe to everything. Oh, I'm so happy. Guys, I'm about to get a new reaction. I'm so excited. It's this one. I've been wanting this one for so long. And Zucker's about to give it to me. You can tell I'm real flattered even though I haven't said anything. So now if you need to, just use bashfulness and everyone will understand how you feel. Aww. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this off here. Look, at Sylvia's literally just staring at me now. I get it. We're beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely let me know and I'll make more Animal Crossing videos. But yeah, but make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.